Hello and welcome to Help Yourself. Um, I'm Kate Hope, nutrition practitioner and also an ex-nurse and I normally deliver talks on a Wednesday once a month at the Cancer Support Centre but obviously um, due to the current circumstances we're not able to do that so the plan is to put some nutrition videos um, online. So here's the first one. So really what I want to do in this video is just really very general talk about the types of foods that's really good to be eating at the moment and the types of foods um, that we should try and have um, very little of or if we can avoid altogether. So if we start with the good lists, always a good place to start. So not surprisingly, we're going to be saying that it's really great to have lots of vegetables and um, fruit, but the fruit in moderation, lots of vegetables at the moment. Particularly the cruciferous variety are amazing for us. So we're talking about spinach, cauliflower, um, kale, all that group of veg, which is very high in nutrients, very high in chlorophyll, which is um, great as it's um, balancing, alkalizing the body. So really great to have. But also, to be honest, any vegetables, and if you can eat a rainbow of colours, even better. The more variety that you can get into your diet at the moment, the more you're going to support your, your nutrition um, and your immunity. And then fruit is also um, good in moderation. I would suggest probably a maximum of two pieces of fruit a day, mainly because it's very high in sugar. Um, okay, it's a better sugar, but you know, it's still turning um, in our bodies to something that we don't really want. Um, I'm a particular fan of blueberries because they are very high in antioxidants, which once again are going to be really good supporters at the moment, um, particularly if we have health issues or, you know, we're um, suffering from viruses of any description. So at, foods that are high in antioxidants are fantastic. Um, and then the other favourite of mine is unripish bananas. So not the banana where it's sort of gone yellow to brown, but the banana where it's sort of green to yellow. I'm not suggesting you have it when it's green because that would not be very pleasant, but not too ripe because obviously once they go yellow to brown, they become very high in sugar, which is something that we want to be avoiding. So that's the vegetable and fruits. Um, then the other food group that's really great to be having lots of is nuts and seeds. We need good fat. There's a bit of a myth that, you know, fat is not good for us, but actually we need fat for many things, including fueling the old grey matter. So um, particular favourites of mine would be almonds, walnuts. Walnuts are great also for the brain. They look like a brain, don't they? So great for your brain. Um, hazelnuts and Brazil nuts. Just three or four Brazil nuts a day will give you your daily amount of selenium, which is, a, is, is an antioxidant, so, you know, brilliant. Uh, and then seeds, um, particularly things like pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, chia, hemp seed, those are all wonderful. Um, so those are nuts and seeds. And in a similar category, um, we have oils. Um, so we have oils, things like hemp seed oil, a common oil that most of us use is extra virgin olive oil, which is brilliant. Um, I love coconut oil to cook with. Coconut oil is a medium chain fat, so it's not stored um, as fat. So, and it doesn't heat up to such high temperatures where you're, when you're cooking which is much better for us because it's not releasing nasty toxins. So coconut oil. And then another one actually that's sort of creeping up to like a really great oil to cook with is avocado oil and also really tasty. So I would generally suggest cooking with coconut or avocado oil and actually having extra virgin oil on your salads and on your veg sprinkled on there um, and not cooking with it um, so much. So that's oils. Um, whole grains, so always if you're going for like a grain to try and choose the whole grain variety. variety. So that would be things like brown basmati rice, brown seeded bread, um, wholemeal pasta. Um, I also um, think quinoa is a great food and it's got lots of protein in there. So that's great if you're having a plant-based meal, um, you're getting your protein. So whole grains. Um, Another great 
thing to do at the moment is um, smoothies. So if you can get that smoothie maker out or if it's already sitting on the side and you can make sort of a really nutritious smoothie. So you could do some, and I'll, I'll probably do a demonstration of a smoothie. That's probably going to be a good idea, but just play around with a smoothie, you know, use your plant milks and just um, use your seeds in there. Maybe your unripish banana, maybe even a little bit of cacao powder because cacao is um, a really wonderful superfood as well. So just sort of, you know, a few little things that you can do um, with a smoothie, but we'll do a smoothie recipe. So watch out for that. Um, wild fish, um, which is brilliant, full of omega fatty acids, um, central fatty acids, omega-3, and um, particularly I think the one that's easiest to get hold of is wild salmon, which is often sold in the supermarkets. So that's um, a really great thing to be having at the moment. And um, uh, also, gosh, something that we don't, um, always some people are for beans and some people are perhaps not so keen on beans but beans and legumes um, full of protein full of nutrients so i'm talking about chickpeas haricot um, cannellini lentils so all those types of foods to so get as much of that in your diet i mean we've got quite warm lovely weather at the moment haven't we but when it was a bit colder at the beginning of lockdown i was making quite a lot of soup um, because soup is a wonderful sort of way to get lots of nutrients um, into you. Um, it's also really good and very healing to make bone broth. Now bone broth is um, when you would simmer an organic carcass. Um, I would use a chicken. I mean, I mainly eat a vegan diet, but I do make bone broth with organic chicken. Um, but you, you, so you make it like your stock, but you have to basically simmer it for a minimum, minimum of 24 hours to release um, all, the, all the healing nutrients in there. So that's a really great thing to, to have if your health is a bit compromised, um, you know, and I'm sure it will go colder at some point. We can't, I mean, maybe we will be blessed with this weather for the rest of the summer. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? And then just some things really to sort of, keep to a minimum or avoid at the moment because they're not going to help support your immunity um, at all. So I would include sugars in there. So I'm particularly talking about the refined sugars, but unfortunately, you know, sugary things, it, it's, it, it's sugar nonetheless. So dried fruit is full of fructose. So, you know, it's a very sugary food and it's not going to be that helpful to our um, immune system. So just trying to um, decrease that sweet tooth if you can, and um, you know, maybe look for other options. I sometimes think it's better to just try and eliminate it as much as you can. There are other options that different schools of thought say different things about. So some people might say a little bit of wild organic honey, um, some organic stevia, something like xylitol, uh, macon syrup. So, you know, they're all out there and they're certainly a lot better than the, the refined sugar category. So just have a think about where you're at and where you want to go from the point of view of, of sugars. Uh, trans fats are definitely a no-no. So margarines I would just not have in the fridge um, personally because they're going to be full of trans fats. A lot of processed food has trans fats in there. Processed food also, you know, generally has a lot of chemicals in it. So just trying to eliminate the very processed foods from your diet um, and perhaps, the, the, you know, the not so processed, but they're still sitting around in the supermarket. Just try and keep to a minimum. Processed foods will not support you. Um, from a nutritional point of view. Farmed meats um, falls into the same category. So if you can, you want to try and get your meat um, grass-fed, um, organic, or at least free range, um, you know, because we don't really want to be having farm meats from the point of view of the antibiotics that the animals may have been given, the steroids, the list goes on really. So just trying to keep that to a minimum. And if you're not somebody who enjoys plant food 
um, dinners, then maybe just try having one one a week and you know move it from there. And I'll definitely do a I'll I'll do a scrummy plant food um, dinner for you on here. Uh, caffeine is something that is really in moderation. Um, but we don't want to be have it in excess. So, you know, a couple of co coffees a day, if you can from a good source, um, organic coffee if you can, um, and the same with tea really. And then really trying to get into herbal teas. So trying to explore all the different teas out there, such as peppermint and fennel and ruibos, my favorite at the moment, lemon and ginger. So all those types of teas, because it is so important that we're getting the um, amount of fluid that we need um, for many different reasons but we're sort of concentrating on immunity today so that would be water and herbal teas caffeine drink drinks are generally dehydrating um, and then the other one to really be careful with would be alcohol i know a lot of the youngsters i'm hearing are enjoying lockdown and enjoying alcohol <laughs> and i'm not saying i don't have a drink because i do have you know um, maybe two or three drinks a week um, but yes gen just generally trying to avoid having um, alcohol so yes so that sort of sums it up on things to have lots of and things to try and keep to a minimum and like I said I will be posting some more videos um, and below you will see links to my um, Instagram and my Facebook and my website. I'm trying to post things more regularly during lockdown on my Instagram and Facebook. So just little health tips. Um, so hopefully they would be beneficial to you. So I'll put the link below. Okay, well, thank you. And I hope you've enjoyed the video.